The Ministry of Health and Wellness is reporting a steady decline in the number of COVID-19 cases. People accessing care at respiratory clinics, as well as the number of admissions at the respiratory hospital. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George is encouraged with the progress thus far in managing the third wave of infection. With the rollout of the COVID-19 vaccine, the CMO is hopeful for improvements in the quality of life for citizens. However, Dr. Belmar George warns that the battle against COVID-19 is not over. Understand and acknowledge the level of frustration that the public has had to endure by the many protocols and lockdowns in the past year. These measures have been implemented in an effort to reduce the impact of the virus on our vulnerable population. As we reduce the cases and the risk, we have been reducing the strict measures in a controlled manner. At this point, we remind the public that although we note the flattening of this third wave, we still have over 100 active cases. We would like to alert the public that mass crowd activities and open socialization is not recommended nor approved at this time in our management of the pandemic. We continue to receive numerous reports of widespread socialization across the island. We are still at high risk at this point in time. Dr. Belmar George says the public health team is working to reduce the number of active cases to less than 50 in order to enable safe opening of activities. The CMO is urging the public to cooperate and be patient. The premature social activity will lead to an upsurge of cases given the exponential transmission typical of this virus. As such, everyone is reminded to continue adhering to the infection prevention and control measures that are proven to reduce transmission of the COVID-19 virus and keep us safe. These include the following, to wash your hands, often if soap and flowing water, or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Wear your mask, which covers your nose, mouth, and chin. Maintain physical distance from others and avoid crowded activities. Let us all work together to sustain the safe reopening of school in April and maintain the numerous gains that we have achieved thus far. A total of 3,977 people have recovered from COVID-19 in St. Lucia. There have been 58 COVID-19 related deaths up to the 25th of March 2021, with a total of 4,161 cases to date.